while dodging bullets. Dramatic video shows a wild shootout in the middle of the street, forcing two schools to go into lockdown mode. It's the second shocking act of violence near Chester High School in as many days. Yesterday, two students were shot just around the corner. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is live with how leaders in that community are trying to urge calm among many fears. Shante. Now, Natasha, police say that as of the end of July, there were 55 shootings in this city. There are currently 83 shootings total so far this year. Many in this community, including the police chief, the mayor, superintendent, and many neighbors say enough is enough. Let me start off just by saying I, I stand before you today because just like yourselves, I'm disgusted and outraged. Chester Mayor Thaddeus Kirkland passionately speaks out after a recent spike in shootings across the city. The most recent captured on store surveillance. Video obtained by CBS3 shows one gunman on the 600 block of West 10th Street walk up to another man and shoot. The male hiding behind the GMC SUV appears to fire back. The violent shootout happening near Chester High School. For neighbor George Benson, he says he's not sending his 12-year-old niece to Chester High School. We live right here a block away half a block actually and on 8th Street and uh, with all this shooting and stuff that's taking place and kids getting hurt we're afraid to let our little niece my sister's granddaughter walk from her bus stop to home. Just one day after two high school students were struck on the 300 block of West 8th Street and what police considered to be an unrelated shooting. A 17 year old boy and a 15 year old boy were shot while walking home just after dismissal about a block away from the school. The 15 year old was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Police say they need more help from the public. I have people willing to come forward. Children willing to stand up and do the right thing. But unfortunately, I had parents telling them no. And the chief says there's an even larger police presence across the city. There's access to more surveillance cameras in the area and police from the county will be assisting Chester police with their presence. Reporting live outside of police headquarters in Chester, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Shante.